At the entrance to this school in Paris, a note informs parents that the doors will remain closed this Thursday. All teaching staff are on strike, answering the call of the unions. It's the same for oil refineries. Employees have been urged to stop working on all of France's seven sites. Paris garbage collectors will also embark on the second phase of their renewable strike. As for transport, however, disruptions are expected to be relatively limited, both for trains and planes. Several major protests have been organized across France, such as here in central Paris. Unions will congregate at the Place de l'Opéra before marching to Bastille in the east. Hundreds of thousands of protesters are expected to turn out nationwide a day before the Constitutional Council is to decide on whether to approve the legislation. This could be a good opportunity for the Constitutional Council to modify the text. It could help to solve a thorny issue for Emmanuel Macron and Prime Minister Elizabeth Borne while also appeasing the unions. It could allow everybody to come back to the negotiating table in order to find a more acceptable way to proceed with the reform. The pension reform was pushed through Parliament last month without a vote. The cornerstone of the legislation remains the top sticking point, raising the retirement age from 62 to 64.